is not the right honourable Prime Minister's responsibility. Question number two, Kevin Haig. Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for ACC and asks, does she consider an independent inquiry into ACC's management of the incident in which personal information relating to 6,700 claimants was sent to Bromman Puller is needed, and if not, why not? The Honourable Judith Collins. Mr Speaker, yes. That is why I fully support the Privacy Commissioner undertaking a review of both the August incident when a data spreadsheet was wrongly sent to an ACC claimant who did not return it, and of ACC's privacy policies and processes. Kevin Haig. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. Does she not agree that a fully independent inquiry is now needed, given that neither ACC's interim report on the matter nor the scope of the inquiry announced by the Privacy Commissioner is adequate uh, to cover the now uh, public facts of the involvement of former National Party President Michelle Bogue and former ACC Minister Nick Smith in the matter? The Honourable Judith Collins. The Office of the Privacy Commissioner is an independent statutory office established under Section 12 of the Privacy Act 1993. It is absolutely independent. If the member has any other queries in relation to these issues, I suggest he takes them up with the Privacy Commissioner. Kevin Hague. Supplementary to the Minister. When uh, did she discover that former Minister of ACC Nick Smith had written a letter on official letterhead drawing attention to his role as Minister for ACC, supporting Bronwyn Puller? The Honourable Judith Collins. Mr Speaker, I received an uh, Official Information Act request from the New Zealand Herald, which I think was yesterday, uh, alerting to me to the fact that there was a letter of reference. And today I found uh, I was able to read that letter because it had been released and was put onto a website. Kevin Haig. Has former ACC Minister Nick Smith's letter concerning Ms Puller been used in any ACC-related claim? The Honourable Judith Collins. Uh, Mr Speaker, I wouldn't be aware of that, but I'm sure that the Privacy Commissioner's review will be able to determine any of that. Kevin Haig. Would she write a letter in support of an ACC claimant while Minister? The Honourable Judith Collins. Um, as Minister of ACC, no, and I'm sure that the member is aware that Dr Smith has said that he regretted the lapse in judgment. Kevin Hay. Order, order, order. I want to be able to hear Kevin Hay. Order. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What investigation is currently underway into whether the former minister intervened in any other... ACC claims involving friends of his. The Honourable Judith Collins. I'm not aware of any. Kevin Haig. Supplementary. How can the New Zealand public possibly have confidence in the institution of ACC or in ministerial independence unless and until every aspect of what has occurred is independently investigated? The Honourable Judith Collins. Mr Speaker, the member seems to ignore the fact that the Privacy Commissioner is independent and the terms of reference are still to be decided. But my view is, is that they need to be as wide as the Privacy Commissioner believes they should be and that they should be very full. I expect, as the member should have seen by the fact that the ACC released their report to me on Friday, just gone, and I asked them to release it on their website straight away, that I would expect transparency. Question number three, Paul Goldsmith. 